Welcome to our shop at Hayden Manufacturing. We make cranberry harvesting equipment and irrigation supplies, but we also sell cranberry, uh, well, cranberry related antiques. We started doing like cranberry scoops and labels, but now we sell a lot of, well, we sell cranberry boxes, cranberry in any type of wooden crate. We had a good day today with this sales tax free uh, Saturday, and tomorrow we're going to do the same. But we still have a lot of stuff left. Uh, actually, I pulled some stuff from out back that I had. Um, we sell a lot of wooden crates of any type. Of, um, these are newly made replica boxes, and I can put labels on them for people. Um, use them for flower pots outside and stuff. That's a bathtub. A uh, ton of cigar boxes. We have probably... I don't know, 200 of those left. Um, those are pier crates that we put a divider in the middle so you can use them for other things. Um, and cranberry boxes, we have plenty of them. We got about 250 of these a few weeks ago, and we've sold quite a few cents, but we still have a lot left. These are ten, uh, $15 boxes, and the ones on the back side of these are ten dollars a piece because they'll have like defects um, pieces of wood that are broken on the side or they're too dirty or um, they're not in the better condition but they're not bad some uh, chess travel trunk that's like sixty dollars I think and so I just figured I'd give you a tour so you see what we have left, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. We'll be open from um, 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. And we take all major credit cards but no uh, checks, and we'll take um, cash, of course. So we have some big pallets. Those are $20 a piece. Sometimes people use those for to make tables out of. Or whatnot. Those are some big uh, cranberry boxes. Those are twenty dollars a piece. Wine crates, fifteen dollars each. I think those are the fruit crates are fifteen dollars each. And so, uh, cranberry scoop. That's two hundred and fifty dollars. And there's an old-fashioned school desk and chair. That one is. 150 and that one is 50 I believe cranberry barrel we have a lot of stuff left so hopefully we will see you tomorrow there's an old-fashioned bike there $30 tomorrow only but normally $50 because it's very old and there's an old cabinet this is a uh, that's $50 those are decals they're not painted on that's a display case. I'm asking $60 for that. I used to keep things in it, but I just want to get rid of it because of all the years selling in here, I've never had anybody steal all these little knickknacks. Ten years I've been selling uh, antiques, and I, it's, there's no reason to keep them in that thing. It's just a pain for me to go in and out of there, but it might come in use, good use for somebody else. Um, just a quick walk down here. I can't explain everything that's on here because my battery will die. Bought a lot of mason jars and old jugs and old bottles and um, cigar boxes. Cigar boxes are 50 cents for the little tins, $3 for the paper covered coated wooden ones and $5 for the larger plain wooden boxes. And um, See some old tools. Try not to be too shaky with the the camera. Make you sick. So, a lot to choose from. And uh, I stay firm on the prices with the cranberry, with all the wooden crates. But I'll work. I'll negotiate on you know other larger items. I don't. I'm not. I won't negotiate on a three dollar postcard. But. <laughs> Uh, those are separators. We still sell those to cranberry growers. They still use them on the box to separate the berries. That's what our company originally started making in 1892. 
Old windows, ten to fifteen dollars each. People use them for crafts and whatnot. That's a um, checkerator. It was my grandmother's, seventy dollars. I think it still works. Um, it's kind of unusual or best offer. I just really have no idea what to charge for that. Old wicker chest. That's twenty-five, I think. This is a uh, kind of folk art um, chest. Pretty clean inside. That is uh, 1950. I'm asking forty dollars for that. And then over here we had a, uh, a cedar chest. Somebody was thinking and suggested I take the latch off the top in case a kid climbed in there after I sold it and suffocated. So I did. That tray comes off the top. And it's pretty clean inside and that is $60 or a best offer that's a little potty chair made out of a crate and it says on the side for cows only so <laughs> yeah, and that's about it there's a bathtub uh, claw foot bathtub for $150 or of course best offer some things out for sale I have a um, a pair of wooden skis that were my grandfather. They just wanted a place to display them, and I didn't want to bring them home. So that's not for sale. And the sign that says Hayden Separator isn't for sale. That's just our identification. So, so anyways, that's the end of the tour. And I hope, I hope we see you tomorrow or any day. We're open. We advertise as a garage sale for the tax-free weekend, but we've been open for 10 years as far as the antiques and 123 years as far as um, cranberry equipment and irrigation and we open um, we open about 10 a.m. through 5 p.m. Monday through Friday usually by appointment only on the weekends but when the fall comes and we're selling cranberries out of here for two dollars a pound I'm going to be working usually every day once we start picking in October. So give us a call. Our number is 508-295-0499. Uh, or the best place to reach me is my cell phone at 508-341-5057. Thanks for taking the tour, and we hope we see you. Goodbye.